Hello everyone, welcome to another Webflow tutorial. Today I will show you how to create an easy typewriter effect in Webflow. So let's get started. So first of all, as you can see, I have a text block inside a div block, right? And as you can see, if we uh, basically go and uh, what we would need to do is we need to highlight the part that we want to basically uh, change, right? That we want to create a typewriter effect on. So for example, this one, just click wrap with span here. Uh, click on it and you will have text span right uh, here as you can see. Now second thing that you want to do is you want to go to type writer JS or typer JS click on docs and here you will have actually the script. So what actually we need to do is we need to copy the script. We need to go to the uh, pages, home, settings and then here under the custom code before code make sure to paste the code. So <clears throat> this is the only way how you can do it and this requires a custom re uh, hosting plan so I cannot do it right now but you need to go and just paste the code. Okay, after that is done what we need to do is we need to actually go and uh, you know span class needs to be typer so actually let's go here and let's uh, make this text span right let's make this uh, you know typer here which is going to be typer right. Um, data delay needs to be 150 so let's go to our settings and uh, let's go to custom attributes, right? So data delay needs to be 150. Data delay, we copy this, it needs to be 150, right? We do that, right? Then uh, data words, they need to be, uh, you know, data words. So for example, uh, the words that you want to change. So data words, it could be div block, website, uh, you know, and something like, Flexbox, for example, right? Okay, that's the first thing, right? And then that's pretty much it for uh, that. Now, the second thing that you want to do is you want to create a uh, spacing right here, a spacing, and then, um, you know, highlight the spacing, and then you will need to also create a text span for that. And then uh, this will be uh, a cursor. This will be span class cursor, right? Let's make a cursor right here. And then uh, data owner will be first typer, right? So we need actually an ID for this, which is going to be first typer, right? First typer. And then we need to add a custom attribute, which is going to be uh, data owner, first typer, right? And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you can uh, create an easy typewriter effect in Webflow. Um, obviously this won't work until you publish it and until you have a custom plan with Webflow. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any questions or uh, comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next Webflow tutorial. Thank you guys for watching.